Hi, this video is going to show you how to do a LinkedIn Live broadcast. Now, not everybody yet has this feature. Uh, you have to apply for it through LinkedIn. You can easily Google that. Uh, but once you do have that feature enabled, um, if you can go to your profile, which you can see I've got my home feed here, you'll actually see an alert. Now, they don't tend to send you an email, at least I didn't get one, uh, that I have LinkedIn Live Access. I just happened to notice it. So you'll want to always be checking your home feed and seeing if you can see that you can do a LinkedIn Live. Now, quickly, you cannot just go live on LinkedIn from your desktop or even from your mobile device. At this time, as of uh, September 2019, you do need an encoder, a separate third-party platform. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is that I'm going to use StreamYard.com to do this. So again, I can see I can do LinkedIn, LinkedIn Live. I can say get started now. That's really just telling you how to become a video broadcaster on here, including the apply button. So I don't want to do that, though. I actually want to go live. So what I'm going to do is go over to my StreamYard.com platform. Now, uh, there is a free version of StreamYard. They're in beta right now. It's a really solid platform. It's not the only one that will broadcast to LinkedIn for you. But um, you can add destinations. It'll let you broadcast not only to LinkedIn Live, but also to Facebook, uh, to YouTube, and even Periscope, which is great. So basically, you would add a destination and add that you are going to go to your LinkedIn profile. You go to Broadcasts, and you go create a broadcast. And you could either do a test. Um, you could do one to your first degree connections only. So if you don't want it to be fully public on LinkedIn, that's pretty cool. Or you can say, I want this to be fully public to anyone who can see it. So you would say, do that, uh, select your visibility, and say, uh, going live on LinkedIn. And again, whatever you type in this post, that is going to be the post copy for the update of when this is uh, appearing on your feed and whatever that message is going to be. So you can then hit Create Broadcast, and it'll say, okay, you've got your broadcast. Uh, we want you to go ahead and enter the broadcast studio, um, and it's going to remind you to wear earbuds, which is what I'm doing now. And it'll go through this whole thing where you can uh, set up your, you know, mute yourself, stop your camera, do your settings, tell you if your mic is working, you can even like uh, adjust what this is. So if you're going live for a brand, like if I was going for really social, um, you could do that. You could type whatever you want to appear as your caption for whenever you're not showing a banner or something. So you'd enter the broadcast studio. And again, I'm just showing you what I have uh, set up. So uh, the nice part in StreamYard, there's a separate tutorial you can go through with this. You can actually add yourself to the stream um, based on StreamYard. You can actually change what brand you're doing. Um, you can do, like I could do my really social brand and that changes that around. Uh, I have a podcast called Unposit. See, it's very nice. You can do banners and such like that. But all of this to say, you have to use a tool like this in order to go live on LinkedIn. Once you're ready, you would click go live, which I'm not going to do right now because that's going to disable this recording. But then it'll give you a countdown and then you'll be live and you can essentially be live on LinkedIn. There is not currently an interface where comments, usually on these on other destinations, you can see comments from Facebook or YouTube, uh, but you can't actually see that with LinkedIn at this time. So you will just have to kind of go live on LinkedIn and have fun with it. That's how you go live on LinkedIn. Again, StreamYard.com is not the only option. It's my option of choice. Uh, but once you're live, and I'll uh, hop over here, um, I can actually go back to my dashboard over here and go to my past broadcast. I did just go live earlier today, and I can say I want to go see uh, what that post looks like on LinkedIn. It's going to remind me saying this is going to take up a little bit of bandwidth, so there's that. And then you're over on your LinkedIn Live and you're able to see yourself. So um, again, you can see as, as people react, if they're watching it, because once they watch it live, they can then watch the replay and, and react in real time. But that is going to now appear on your LinkedIn feed uh, in addition to any of your other posts. So hopefully this was helpful. Please leave any questions in the comments. We'd be happy to guide you guys as you go link to, on LinkedIn Live yourself. Do remember that you have to go apply for it first, uh, but then you guys can go ahead and uh, take a look at that and have fun with it. All right, enjoy.